Hello nieces and nieces, how are you today? Welcome back to the channel. I want to thank you guys for coming back to the channel. I am Savings Fashionista and over here we do mainly things fragrance whether it's body or home and today I want to share with you the fragrances that I wore the week of August the 11th. So if you're interested in hearing all about those fragrances and or fragrance combinations, please. All right, so starting on Sunday is a fragrance that is inspired by a fragrance that is on my wish list that um I have been tempted to pull the trigger on this, but I'm trying to play around with it a little bit longer because based off the reviews, it's been said that it's not worth the price. I do have it in original form in sample form, but the fragrance that um, I'm referencing is Fleur Narcartique by Ex Nilio. And I'll put a picture here so that you can see what it looks like. And I also have a sample and that's the original picture, but you can't see it. And the floor that I, I mean, the fragrance that I'm, um, I wore on Sunday is La Fleur Bouquet. And this is by the house of Afnan. Now, I fell in love with Afnan with their Mystique Bouquet, which is an uh, inspired fragrance by Vallejo. This fragrance is very, very close to Fleur Narcartique. It is absolutely beautiful. It gives that soft girl energy. It is a very light, pretty, watery floral fragrance. And I absolutely enjoyed it. I want to wear it a little bit more before I give my thoughts on, as far as projection and longevity. But if you just want something to kind of like sample and get a feel of Fleur Narcartique without paying the price, if you don't, you know, if you need something more than a sample, I would definitely recommend this um, absolutely beautiful fragrance. So again, my fragrance for Sunday was La Fleur Bouquet by Afghan. Now moving on into Monday, you guys. Monday was also a fragrance that I wore in isolation. When I wear things in isolation, I only put on a body oil to moisturize my skin and create a barrier. So... The fragrance that I wore is something that has been recently released um, in collaboration with Navitus, in collaboration with Paula, Paulina um, and Navitus. This is Cabana Sunset. Yes, the bottle is absolutely gorgeous. You guys, this fragrance, um, it's one of those fragrances that is definitely not a safe blind buy. Um, I took one for the team. I blindly purchased this fragrance. And I do think that this fragrance, it, it needs to macerate a little bit more because it's not as off-putting as it was when I first opened it up. It's not as off-putting as it was when I wore it on Monday for starters. It seemed like it's getting better with shelf life. But the opening of this fragrance is, it's different. Um, but I got a lot of compliments on the day that I wore this fragrance, but it was towards the end of the day. So the dry down is what's best about this fragrance. But I am going to come back and give a review, but I want to experience it a little bit more. And the fragrance notes in here are lychee, strawberry, green apple, peach, coconut, tuberose, some white florals, custard, vanilla, amber, and some musk. Absolutely beautiful packaging. Um, like I said, it's not a safe blind buy, and we'll talk about it later. But that was my fragrance for Monday, Cabana Sunset, in collaboration with by Navitas, in collaboration with Paulina. The next fragrance, you guys, um, that I wore was for Tuesday, and I wore this really to just match my dress. I had on this really vibrant colored dress that had oranges, turquoise, greens, and it looked very tropical, it looked like I was in a rainforest, and I thought that this would be a great fragrance to pair with it. This is Keep glaze by the house of oud and this is a mango forwarding fragrance this is one of those mangoes that your husband or your guy could wear it is so good um i have a hard time with getting my husband to just wear things in isolation but i'm interested 
I'm going to see if I can get them to put this on. But this is nice. This is more of an earthy green type of mango fragrance. It has mango, strawberry leaf, ice lemon, whipped cream, coconut, ginger, fruity notes, musk, precious woods. So again, this is Keep Glaze from the House of Oud. Now, on Wednesday, you guys, I was in a mood for this. And although this is one of my favorites from 2023, I do have to be in a mood for it because it is an attention-getting fragrance. So, if you're not in the mood for people stopping you, asking you what are you wearing, even at the start of my day when I stopped to get my coffee that morning, a guy told me, Ma'am, I smelled you outside the door. As I was walking in, I was already in the um, store. As he was walking in, he said he could smell me outside. So I don't know how true that is, but this is one of those fragrances that you have to rinse your clothes twice after you wash them. You have to use all of the scrubbers the loofahs the african towels the brushes everything in your shower to make sure that you get it off to start afresh the very next day and the fragrance that i am speaking of is guidance from the house of amouage takes a very little so if you get out of control with this fragrance you're gonna know it and everyone around you or around the corner from you is gonna know it too but this is a beautiful fragrance it has notes of pear, hazelnut, osmathus, rose, saffron, jasmine, sambac, sandalwood, vanilla, akigali wood, and brigoris. And Mr. Quentin Beach, Beach, he did his thing. I do want to get my nose on the latest one. And one day it will end up in my collection, I'm sure, if I enjoy it. So again, my fragrance for Wednesday was Guidance by Amouage. Now, moving on into Thursday. Thursday is something that I am so, a fragrance that I am so excited about. I should have been had this in the collection, but I just recently got it in a, a, form, a form, but I do think that I need the actual fragrance. But I started off with this. This is Casablanca. This is by Swiss Arabian. This is a very affordable fragrance. Very nice I think that this fragrance, I do think that this is a year round fragrance, but this fragrance does its best for me in the fall and the winter. Although it performed very well on Thursday, this is one of my husband's favorites, but this has loads of fruit in it. It has um, grapes in it. This is probably the only fragrance that I, that, that I have that has a grape note and it has like some chocolate and caramel. It's definitely a gourmand delight with an Arabian edge to it. This is Casablanca. So what I paired with it is a fragrance that's been on the wish list. And we're working on getting it off the wish list because I fell for this. I was able to get this complimentary with another fragrance that I purchased from this company. But the fragrance that I am speaking about is Amorous Intense. And this is the second fragrance that was created by Navitas in collaboration with A.I. the Great. This is so good. I think that I like this better than I like, no, let me not say that because they're kind of like equal. They, they are both absolutely beautiful, unique fragrance. I don't think I have anything in my collection, but believe it or not, you guys, if you don't want to spend that coin right now, or you want to wait till 20 or 30% off, go ahead and get you one of these. I think these are either 45, is it 45 or 75 dollars? I don't know why there's a big difference, but 45 or 75. But get you one of these because these wear like perfume. This wear how I would imagine the perfume wearing, because you can actually wear this alone and it could be your fragrance for the day. But this is an all over body spray. And you know, her, her um, Amorous Intense is said to be a sexy, fruity, apple jolly rancher type of fragrance, but it has notes of pear. I think it has some apple in it and it is so good. I need the original fragrance, but right now, this is doing it and it's doing it well. So that was my fragrance combination for Thursday. Really enjoyed it. Now moving on into Friday. 
Friday, I did add in some um, body care that I've really been enjoying. This is the Honeycomb. I told you guys, honey is going to be my fall fragrance note. I'm already researching, looking for fragrances that has honey in them. And this right here is so good. This is Coco Shea's Honeycomb, and it smells like sweet shea butter to me. It is so good. So, oh, this is so good. That was my body care. And the fragrance that I paired with it is from Trusardi. And this is Limitless Shopping. Oh, don't I wish. But this fragrance has notes of, I think it has some apple. It has honey in it. It has honeycomb. But let me just get to the notes so I can be matter of a fact with what I'm telling you about what's in this fragrance. So in Limitless Shopping, I was correct. It is apple, honeycomb, bergamot, honey, jasmine, rose. It has a synthetic note in it, tonka bean, musk, and hawthorn. This is so good to me. It gives clean girl. It gives soft. It gives demure. If you have not checked out my video, um, Mindful and Demure, this was featured in that. Please click the card above or in the description below and check that video out. But this was absolutely good and it paired so well. Someone walked into my space at work and they was like, what's that? What's that I smell? And I do have wallflower bulbs and I occasionally spray, but I hadn't sprayed any um, mist in there. And so as I moved closer to her, she was like, it's you, it's you. So I did get quite a few compliments on that fragrance combination. Really enjoyed it. And that was my fragrance for Friday. Now moving on into Saturday. Saturday, I went in with more body care. And this is Candy Apple Cauldron. And it has fragrance notes and caldron. It has fragrance notes of mysterious green apples, simmering sugar, and crystallized bergamot. This is a really nice apple fragrance. I think it is nice for this time of year and it will transition very easy into the fall. It is not like your harvest type of apple fragrance, but it is good. It's a it's a clean, citrusy bergamot it, it smells just like what it says bergamot and apple and i do like it so this was my fragrance um body care and i added in mood ring not only does it match in color but it matched in as far as the fragrance dna because this is a fruity fragrance and it smells a little similar to this it gives you that same type of dna just fruity with some citrusy undertones and a little musk in it, but paired absolutely great with that um, candy apple cauldron. So that was my fragrance combination for Saturday, and I enjoyed it. So you guys, those were my fragrance combinations for the week of August the 11th. If you have any combinations that you would like to share in the comment section below, please do so. I want to thank you guys so very much for coming back and supporting. If it's only myself and one or two other people, I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And do not forget you. Yes, you. You are great. Bye-bye.